to God. The Bible says the poor will be with you always. But what my Bible says is that Christ became poor so that we could become rich. We may not have all the money, but what we can do, power is organized people that organize money. And what we're going to do in this campaign is to go back and get the money because the Bible says it's laid up for us. Those who have ripped us off, it's time now for us to go get what's due ours. Dr. King said that there was a bounce check and the check was insufficient funds. But now we know where the money is. We're going to follow the money and we're going to go get the money so that we can clean up our communities. We can educate our children. Glory to God. We can house our families, our older people. We can get the health care that we need. We want the health care that Congress has. We don't want the health care that leaves us out. And we're willing to fight for it. We're willing to fight for it. What we have to realize is that regardless to the color of your skin, regardless to how you worship or who you worship or how you pray, at the end of the day, we all bleed red. We all bleed red. And at the end of the day, when we unite together, we are more powerful than the 1%. We have to not settle for the billionaire class. I refuse as a person of faith we have a moral imperative to make sure that justice reigns in our community. That those of us who have been left behind say enough is enough is enough and I just ain't gonna take it no more. Amen. Like Fannie Lou Hamer, we didn't come all this way for somebody to push us back. We didn't come all this way. Now it is time for us to go get what is ours. And we intend to make sure that in East Chicago, the EPA do just and righteous by us. We want to make sure. And when our public officials fail to support the issues and the needs of the community, they will either support us or they will be put out. We want them to drink the water that we have to drink. The water that is filled with lead and arsenic, let them drink it. Let them live in the communities with mold. Let them leave, live in the communities where we have contaminated soil beneath our feet. Let them breathe the air that is polluted and destroying our lungs. Let them go to the schools when they take the money out of our schools. We cannot do it and be afraid. There is no fear. There is no fear. So I commit to you that we will be fearless people of God. We will be fearless people of goodwill. And we will walk and we will speak truth to power, glory to God. We will speak truth to power. So I encourage you, we want to thank Blocks Together and all of the organizations here, glory to God, on the west side of Chicago, because your fight is my fight, and my fight is your fight. We are all in this together, and together we will win. My brothers and my sisters, let's resist, because I tell you, resistance is not futile. I'm a Trekkie fan, you know, remember the Borg? The Borg said resistance is futile. No, it's not. We will resist. We will resist. We will resist. And we will win. Environmental justice for all. Amen.